Welcome back to my channel Bami by Fashion. In this video I will be showing you how to do this subby requested crop top. I will also show you the process to go through when trying to draft a pattern from looking at a picture of clothes. Let's get started. I'm using the app Procreate and what I'm doing is just trying to figure out the shapes for each piece I have to draft. So I open a new layer and I draw the outline of each shape and move it on over to a fresh area. Then I sit and I stare at it for a bit trying to figure out what to do. This is a good way of getting an idea of the shapes and how and where they match up with each other. Just to get a button on shirt. And what we're going to do is get masking tape because I don't feel it like, I don't feel it like pinning. So Get some proper masking tape, not cheap masking tape, right? And we know we want it under the loop. So we're going to do that right there, under the loop. This. And that is here, it's going to stop. Then, we know that this bridge is supposed to cover your titties. Like that. I'm going to stop right here. We want it all the way to the center. So we're gonna bring it right there. Just like that. So shoot, shoot, shoot. We want this to be on our shoulders because this shirt sort of falls off. So if yours is on your shoulder, then that's fine. So we put that like that. So as you can see. It's gonna come here and we'll bring it up some more. Put it on my shoulder so it doesn't fall off. So it's gonna come like that. Shoop, shoop, shoop. And then I think we're gonna stop it the same. We're gonna measure how high it goes here and then we're gonna measure it there and then we're just gonna go straight across. Take off the shirt and lay it flat on a large piece of paper. We're going to trace the outline of our masking tape onto the paper using a pin. It's pretty much just poking through the shirt to the paper. So I'm just poking. When I lift up the shirt, there are going to be holes in the paper and I'm just going to connect the dots. Easy peasy, right? But because the original shirt had a bunch of elastic and gathers, that must mean that the fabric was wider than the boobs, which means that we have to add fabric to the front. So I add three inches to the front right there as you can see and if you're bustier add like four to five inches and if it's too big then you can still make it smaller towards the end but don't start small i guesstimated that the length of the front was about two inches so i marked that and then i drew a nice curve from the armhole to that mark and from the side seam to that mark so that's what i'm doing here and that's going to be two inches coming down there and that's going to have all the little ruffles to determine the size of her elastic, her elastic looks like the size of her nail, right? So let's measure the size of her nail, which is about a quarter of an inch. Yep, so it's the same, a quarter of an inch, and a quarter of an inch, her nail looks like it's about here. Yeah, so that's about three quarters. So we need three quarters elastic. Do this three quarters. Add three quarters of an inch to the bust curve and to the bottom of the front. Add half an inch to the immediate front bit, which was two inches. Now add a quarter everywhere else, which would be the armhole right there and the side seam. This is the back of the shirt. You can see the tape from the front here and we're going to follow that line to the back. Use the front pattern we just drafted to figure out how high to do the back armhole because it's going to be the same length. I also folded the back of the shirt in half to determine where the center of the back was. So that's what I'm doing right now, folding it in half and I'm going to stick a pin right here because I know that's the center back. Now we're going to do our poke and pin method. 
and poke the side seam up to the corner by the armhole. Also going to poke the armhole curve and poke where the center back is. Go up the center back about three pokes or so. Then remove the shirt and connect the dots. First we're going to draw the straight line at the center back using our three dots and then we're going to connect the bottom of the side seam to the center back and the top of the armhole curve to the center back. Doing the same thing we did with the front, I added 3 inches to the center back even though I don't know how the back of this top is supposed to look but I guess it just makes sense to me. I added 3 quarters of an inch to the top and the bottom and a quarter of an inch at the side seam and armhole. On to the sleeves. Draw a straight line to start off and then line up your sleeve along that line. The girls in the picture looks to be about 10 to 11 inches so I made the length of my sleeve to 11 inches. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops so I bought army pants. Then we're going to go straight across that line and then trace out the rest of the sleeve. So I'm just going straight, lining it up, I'm going to mark there and then I'm going to go up the underarm seam and then I'm going to use the hook and pin method to trace out the seam going all the way up. So right here where you see that the masking tape it connects, it has that little corner, I'm just going to do a big dig out because that's actually where the top of the shirt is going to stop and then the sleeve is just going to continue on by itself. After we do this we're going to connect the dots. It doesn't have to be perfect but because we want it wider now we're going to have to spread out our sleeve to achieve the puff sleeve effect. So at that notch I went out 2 inches and drew a line straight down and labeled the two sections A and B. I cut along that line we just drew got a new piece of paper, drew another straight line and taped A to that line. I extended the hem line which is a straight line at the bottom. I extended that out a bit and then added another line 2.5 inches away from that line and taped B to it. Matching that B to the hem line which you're going to see me draw right here. See? Then at B I went out 1.25 inches and I drew a line. I measured up from that new line 11 inches and then I just drew a curve going down towards the notch from the top. So center fold. Again we went out 2 inches here, we drew a line, we separated it, we went up 2.5 inches here. And at the front, we added 1.25 inches because 1.25 on the fold would give us 2.5 folded. So that means we separated 2.5. We could have done like more, but I'm being lazy, so yeah. The patterns are done, so now you can cut it out on fabric. I'm using a non-stretch white cotton fabric. I don't know how many yards I use, but I always buy one and a half to two yards of fabric when I go to the fabric store. So yeah. I get the back fabric and I get the two front pieces of fabric. Well, the back fabric was cut on the fold, okay? So this is the wide back fabric all laid out. I get the two front pieces and I pin it to the side seams of the back. After pinning, we're going to sew these two sides down. This is it sewn. I didn't feel like switching out the black thread in my serger, so I'm just using my regular straight stitch machine. But because I use that, I'm going to press my side seams open so it's professional. So I'm going to press it open and then I'm going to flip it over and press all of my seams. Get your sleeve and measure the circumference of your bicep using elastic and cut two pieces out. On the right side of each sleeve, I drew a line 1 inch up from the bottom using the heat removable pen. Then I drew a line a quarter up from that and again another quarter up from that. So I have three lines now at the bottom of my sleeve. Now we're going to get our elastic again which is the length of our bicep and we're going to pin it to one end directly under the lines and then we're going to pin the other end to the other end of the sleeve directly under the lines and then we're going to go to the machine and we're going to stitch along those lines while pulling the elastic while sewing and it's going to create a nice ruffled effect. 
So before I put in the last stick, I'm actually going to do a lettuce hem stitch at the bottom of the sleeve. But it's not going to create a curvy, wavy effect because it's non-stretch. So I'm just pretty much doing a zigzag edge stitch-ish thing. And get our shirt and at the top right there, we're going to fold it inwards to the wrong side, three quarters of an inch because our elastic is three quarters of an inch. Actually, I'm doing it slightly, slightly, slightly larger than three quarters of an inch so that I have a tiny bit of seam allowance. So I'm probably going to do it whatever three quarters is plus an eighth. And then I'm going to stitch along that line. I do the same thing for the bust, the top of the bust, and the bottom of the shirt. And then I do it as well for the curve of the sleeve. So this is everything pinned. And I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to top stitch or edge stitch that hem. We're going to stitch the casing for the elastic at the top, at the bottom of the shirt, the back, top, and the best part of the shirt. And then we will be back. This is me hemming the sleeve. This is how it's going to look for the sleeve, the bust, the top of the back, and the bottom of the entire shirt. And right here I'm doing the zigzag edge stitch for the bottom of the sleeve. And right here I'm stitching the elastic to the bottom of the sleeve and I actually put my stitch length to the longest so I think it was at number 5. And I'm stretching the elastic under the shirt as I go and I'm ensuring that the elastic is under each line. And this is how it looks. And while I was at the machine, I actually closed the underarm seams of the sleeve. So I did that already. We're going to just like press that away. Press that pink part away. And like magic, it's gone! Do you see the pink? Pink one? Okay, wait. Pink on! Pink off! <laughs> I got the elastic from my bust and I'm using my loop turner thingy and I'm pulling it through the casing. Then I get the elastic for it, I hook it up onto it, making sure it's nice and tight up in there, and then I pull it through. Now, you gotta be careful with this. When you get it directly to the edge, you have to pin it real quick. Do a real quick pin and then pull the other end of the elastic, the rest of the way through and pin as well. I do this for the other bust, the top of the sleeves, the top of the back and the bottom of the shirt. Alright, so all of the elastic and the sleeve the bottom, the back top, the bust, and the other sleeve. So I'm just gonna like reinforce the ends so that if a pin drops out, it doesn't pop out, and then I have to do it all over again. So I found this thing, the string cord, whatever, um, in my basket, and it looks just like the one that they use on the actual shirt, but it was so like yellow. So I actually stuck it in some bleach and water, and this is how it came out. Did a good job, right? Did a good job. Look at this, 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 this is white. We are going to get the front here. This is the bus bus part. Snip off these. And we're going to fold this inwards like so. We're gonna pin. Then we're gonna look at the picture and see. What the hell going on on the front there? Horrors come from like this area. I don't know if they had it inside. They may have had it inside, but then if they had it inside, then how is it sticking out? So they probably didn't have it inside. Alright, so they have one, two, three, four. Snip. Maybe I should burn the end. 29 inches long. So 29 to 30 inches long. Let's burn these ends, shall we? A 
Okay, we're not gonna burn the ends. This is just gonna be tucked under here, like so. And we're gonna top stitch it down. You, 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 um. So that one is pinned there. So then we're gonna have another one. I'm gonna get that and we're gonna pin it here, I guess. I do it all this, but I haven't put on the sleeves yet because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Is that how it's supposed to be? Why did I buy it all the way down there? So 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 I moved my top lace thingy up a little higher. I didn't like how it was just like in the center. No. Yeah. That looks better, no? Now let's work on these sleeves since I've been avoiding it. Okay, sleeves. Sleeves. Sleeves, 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 sleeves. Alright, so we're gonna get one side. Doesn't matter which side because, okay. Then we're gonna pin it here. Okay, let's pin it in the center first. Alright, you can see that? So this is the, the top of the thing I'm gonna do. Let's, let's zoom in. Okay. So this. I is the top. This is a sleeve and with right sides facing I'm gonna pin this on top here like so. Then I'm gonna pin I'm just gonna go around and pin it. So I always pin at the seam first and then go out. Oh wait, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna pin so like this elastic part can meet back with this elastic part. So we're gonna just give it a little scoot. So see like, so like this, we're gonna like do like this, chuck it there, so it matches back like that. I don't know if that makes sense. And did I do that here? Oh, I did that here. <laughs> Okay, Nikia, because you know what you're doing. So, like one straight line, okay? I'll show you that again on the other side because that was miraculous, so I did. Who knew it was going to fit so nice? I didn't. Did you? I did not. Alright, so you're going to pin here. So, so we're going to get this. You're going to pin it like this. Right? Then, we're going to get this end. Stick it up like that. So this is how it is. Facing this direction, we're gonna stick it up like that. So it's sticking up right. And we're gonna pin it like so. We're gonna sew here and make sure you put like a lot of back tacks. I'm getting a really bad headache. Make sure you put the back tacks together. So there and there. And then we're going to sew the front. And then we are done. And our shirt is done, please. I have literally no idea why this video is so long, but I can't cut out anymore because it's necessary information that you need. So I'm sorry, and I hope you stuck around to the end, and I hope you love the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already! Baby, 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 you're driving me wild, you're driving me so crazy.
got me acting out. Got me trying to stay sober. Got me trying to stay sober. One of your love and I'm out here hungover. You made me wanna take you to London, Paris. Make some songs with cherries. Maybe that's no comparing to you.